Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to find out whether or not an old MacBook Pro can edit 4K video. I have done a video with this in the past, but that was regarding a 2009 MacBook Pro. Today we're going to look at the 2012 MacBook Pro running Mac OS Mojave, running with a 2.5 GHz Intel Core i5 processor, 8GB of DDR3 RAM, and an Intel HD Graphics 4000. So let's get started. Now I figured that the best way to test the MacBook Pro and to see whether or not it can actually edit 4K video is to record a one minute long clip, play around with it in iMovie, and then export it to see whether or not the MacBook Pro can handle it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I've already recorded a one minute long clip beforehand. And as you can see here, I've added it to iMovie. Now, what I found interesting was playing around with the clip and uh, you know, if you want to split the clip, remove audio, add audio, anything you want to do specifically to the 4K clip, you know, the MacBook can handle it. Now, the one part that you will notice though, where the MacBook does lag behind is when it's playing back 4K video. Um, there are times where it's pretty smooth after the videos have rendered, but there are also other times where it's just really struggling to catch up with the video and you'll see a lot of frames being dropped where it's going to be really choppy. But that is not going to affect the end result of the video. So once you export the video, that shouldn't be a problem. But playing around with the video in iMovie um, should be okay. Just playing back that video is going to be the problem. Uh, things I've noticed while editing 4K video on, in iMovie is the MacBook does get a little loud, it gets a little hot, the fans are spinning. It's not meant to edit 4K video. So yes, it is possible to edit 4K video. You are going to have you know, longer import and export times and rendering the video will take a little bit longer, but you can edit the clips and you can export it. It's just a matter of time and the laptop itself will get a little bit hot and obviously the battery life won't be too great, especially on these older MacBook Pros. So if you already have a MacBook Pro, you can go ahead and test this yourself. It should be okay. But if you're planning to buy one, just keep in mind that the battery life won't hold up, especially because they're already old MacBooks. So I always have my MacBook plugged in the charger, so that's not a big deal. But um, if you do plan on taking this on the go, that could pose a problem. Then go ahead and buy a cheap battery to replace it. But in general, the MacBook Pro, you know, is not meant to edit 4K video, especially one from back in 2012, even though that the short answer is yes, it can edit 4K video. Now, here we're exporting the video. It does take a little bit of time. I think uh, when I went ahead and checked, it took about three minutes to render, sorry, to export a one minute long video, which is not bad. But once you start recording longer videos and more clips and things like that, it will take a lot longer. So as a conclusion, yes, the 2012 MacBook Pro with an i5 processor, you know, eight gigabytes of RAM, it can edit 4K video, but should you? Once in a while, like I wouldn't say completely no, but rather at a 1080p it's a lot smoother it works a lot better but if you really really have to it's possible so that is the end of my video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was really helpful to you guys if you guys did like it please leave a like comment down below if you have any questions and i'll see you guys in the next video peace